This is 653, 653 here. And we're looking to find the equivalent inductance, the equivalent inductance at the terminals A and B of the circuit. So at this circuit here. So let's first talk about what is in series and what is in parallel. So if we take a look here, I think we can see that these are in series. These are in series. And I think these are in series. So those two together. So this comes out to 20 millihenry. And adding these two together comes out to be 12 millihenry. So adding those two together. Now with the results of those, these two are in parallel. And these two are in parallel. So those two are in parallel. So the up here we have 20 times 5. This 20 times 5 divided by 20 plus 5. So that is 100 divided by 25. So that is 4 millihenry. And down here we have uh, this 12, 12 times 6 here, 12 times 6 divided by 12 plus 6. So 12 times 6, what is 12 times 6? I think that's 72 divided by 18. I don't know that one. 72 divided by 18. That's 4. 4 millihenry there. Okay, so let's redraw this circuit. I'm going to redraw the circuit. And we have 6. That's this one. And then combining all of these together, let's just draw this at an angle here. And then we have all of this together. And we have, and lastly, okay. So this is six millihenry. This is 10. And this here is eight. That's this one. And then we have here both four millihenry and four millihenry. Okay. Now these two are in series. These two are in series. So that is equal to eight millihenry. And that becomes this eight millihenry is in parallel with this eight. So we have eight times eight divided by eight plus eight, which is 64 divided by 16. And I think that's four. Okay, so let's draw the circuit one last time. Okay, so this is six millihenry. This comes out to be four millihenry. And down here is 10 millihenry. And so these are all in series. So we just have six plus four plus 10. So the equivalent inductance, the equivalent inductance is equal to six, that's 10, that's 20. 20 millihenry. So that is our solution for 653.